the magnetic field around a current carrying wire, whatever that means. But magnets, that's the thing. I love magnets. These are a, a kind of a new toy. You've probably seen them around. A couple of strong magnets. Typically, you throw them up in the air, and they make that clicking noise. Kind of irritating after a while, but they're amazing, aren't they? Anyway, there's an invisible magic field around magnets, and you probably first saw it when you sprinkled iron filings. Iron filings kind of hard to get, and a little messy, as it turns out. Classic. But there's a new product out on the market that works really well, and that's uh, little bits of steel filings. Little bits of steel filings. Watch this. I love this. Just little bits of steel. Now you can buy these from science display uh, companies, and they'll they'll sell you all sorts of interesting things for showing magnetic fields. And I'll charge you a lot for these little pieces. However, I'm going to show you a place you can get them real f cheap, well, free. And it's your uh, your copying machine. You go to your copying machine, and at our school we've got a a person responsible for running the copier. She does a bunch of other stuff. She's pretty much indispensable. But in the part that does stapling, they have a little piece of metal. And they don't know if you're going to staple two sheets of paper or, or 20 sheets of paper. And so they've got this little cutoff thing, and it cuts off the little piece of staples that aren't used. And typically, they're thrown out. Well, if you save those, well, that's those little pieces of steel that you can use for showing magnetic fields. Oh, but the neatest thing, and and this is not easy to get, and it's not cheap, but it's called a ferrofluid. If you go online and search ferrofluid, there's lots of interesting demonstration. YouTube has some great ones. Actually, if you're at my site, go to my list of favorites, and you'll find a, a couple of them. Anyway, this is an amazing fluid that lines up with the lines of magnetic field, and you can see the little spikes, and each one of those kind of represents an invisible field line. This is awesome stuff. I could sit here and stare at this for a long time. But the standard and traditional way of showing magnetic fields is with a compass. I've got a wire. I'm going to put electricity through that wire, and I've got it surrounded by compasses. Compass points towards a magnetic field. And if you were to bring a strong magnet near it, they would point towards it. So I've got a little strong magnet in my hand. You can see they point towards it. And an interesting phenomena takes place. I'll get it lined up. When we put electricity through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. And the magnetic field is just going around that wire. And if you wrap the fingers of your hand, they go in the direction of the magnetic field. You curl your hand around the wire, and it shows the direction of the magnetic field. Curl the fingers around your hand around it. The thumb indicates the direction of current. And that is going to show you the magnetic field. If you change the direction of current, then the direction of the magnetic field changes. And this is, it, it's almost magic. When it was first discovered, people just really didn't know what to do with it. Absolutely astounding stuff. Really amazing. You use the other hand to show it going in the other direction. The magnetic field actually changes direction. And uh, actually, you can flip your hand over, and, and there's some interesting thing about which hand to use and when to use it. I'll talk about that now. The debate about positive or negative current is really amazing. And you'll get some people at some universities that will, will argue forever. At any rate, it doesn't matter. If you say electricity goes from, through a wire from negative to positive, you would use your left hand to indicate negative to positive. Electrons flow from negative to positive. This is the way Bill Nye teaches it, incidentally. Negative to positive, and you would use your left hand. And the magnetic field would go around this way. But what if you taught the other kind of current, from positive to, to, to negative, which is the way Ben Franklin kind of thought it was when he really didn't know what he was looking at. And so if you use that, then you've got to use your right hand, because those guys know they're right. And, uh, and so you go from positive to negative, use your right hand, and, and, and you go from positive to negative, and look what's happening. Your fingers are still going around in the same direction. Magnetic field's going to be going around the same direction. You put electricity through it, magnetic field doesn't change. So however you define it, you just decide a hand. If you're positive, you're right. Then you can use your right hand. If you're left with that choice, then you use that. Magnetic field's going to be the same. Good luck with that.